All right, so uh, there's this woman, and she's having an affair during the day while her husband's at work. And uh, one day, her son gets off school early, comes home and catches him, but he's real quiet, and he, and he sneaks into the, the bedroom closet to watch. And about that time, uh, the woman's husband shows up early, too. And... She jumps up real quick and, and, and grabs her lover and shoves him in the closet, not realizing her little boy's in there also. The kid's only like, you know, 9 or 10 or something. So, at any rate, uh, the guy's in the closet, and uh, the little boy's there, and he goes, dark in here. And the guy says, yes it is. And the boy says, I've got a baseball. The guy goes, that's nice. The little boy says, you want to buy it? And the, the guy says, no. He goes, my dad's right outside. The guy says, all right, how much? The little boy says, 250. The guy says, all right, fine. And he gives the kid 250. So, a couple weeks later, this scene repeats itself. And uh, the lover finds himself in the closet with the little boy again. And the little boy says, it's dark in here. And the guy says, yes it is. The little boy says, I got a baseball glove. And the, the guy says, that's nice. The boy says, want to buy it? And the guy says, all right, how much? And the little boy says, 350. The guy's like, all right, fine. So uh, a week or so goes by, and uh, the dad, the father, tells the little boy, he says, hey, why don't you go grab your uh, your ball and your glove, and we'll go outside and play some catch. And the little boy says, sorry, Dad, but uh, I sold it. And uh, the dad says, "What you sold it? Well, how much did you sell it for? They were they were kind of new." And the little boy says, "Well, I got a total of like six hundred dollars for him." And the dad rolls his eyes. He's like, "That's not fair. Is that's way more than what it costs? You shouldn't be taking advantage of your friends and stuff like that. You know, that's that's just not being a good moral upstanding person. I'm going to take you to church and make you confess." So he takes him off to church the next morning, and uh, they find a confessional, and uh, he points the little boy to it, opens up the door, pushes him in, and the little boy gets in there and says, dark in here, and the priest says, don't start that again.